this is a 38 inch curved display. What's up guys, Supercar Blondie here and the reason why we're filming this in the dark is because it looks more badass. <laughs> Basically is the reason. This is the brand new Escalade, the 2021 edition. Now look what happens when you open up here on the key. Look how the front lights start flashing first. And then all of the lights come on, which I think is super cool. Now come around here. What is also a really nice touch is all of these LEDs that run along the side of the car. Now that actually highlights the step that is going to fold down when you get in. Now come around the back. Let me show you the back. <laughs> this is a beast of a car, you guys. I really actually like the look of this car. Let me just light her up again. This is what you'll see from the back. How cool is that? I love that. I love all of these like light dancing displays now that you get with these new cars. Now, what you can do with the Escalade is it's such a massive boot. So if you don't have that much stuff to put in the boot, you can actually just open up the top here by pressing twice on the key. And look, there's a little bit of a glass partition here and you can kind of pop stuff in the back. Now, if you want to open the whole thing, watch this. I'm coming back from shopping, right? Here I am with my key. All right, and I approach the car. No. See, this is, okay, I've got to be honest with you guys. I'm having a bit of an issue with this right here. This is a really cool feature I want to show you, but it doesn't come on all the time. So let me try that again. Ah, here it is. See? So you have to work far enough away for the key not to be recognized. And then this pops up here. However, this is the other issue. It doesn't work every time. <laughs> there we go. One of them worked. So basically you have to end up doing karate kicks at the back of your car until it works. All right, so that's pretty cool. I actually really like that feature that you know exactly where to put your foot because of the projection on the ground. However, I think that needs to be tweaked just a little bit. This is actually 70% bigger than the space that you got in the previous Escalade model. What is quite crazy is you've still got all of this space here and that's with all seven seats up. So you've got seven people that can sit in this car plus all of this boot space. That's crazy. So let's take her up out of the dungeon down here just so you can see the beautiful interior. What you can do to start up the car is press this on the key. And it responds super, super quickly. Check out the interior, what lights up when you get into the car. I love how this step comes out and this is all lit so you know exactly where you're stepping. And in you get. Ambient lighting here, blue running along the whole interior. I quite like that. It's like, <laughs> that was my rendition of a police siren. It's like an FBI car. These are the like the, the undercover cop cars. It's so badass, isn't it? It's so beastly. Now, let me show you what is going on here with the exterior. Now, you can actually get two like different kind of versions of the Escalade. You can either go luxe, so luxury, or you can go sporty. Now, this one is the sporty one, but it's the top of the range sporty. So this is the sports platinum edition. So with this, you can see everything has been blacked out. See the grill here. Basically everything is black. It looks as sporty as sporty as possible. It's also got special rims on this edition, which I really like. The Lux edition looks less, I would say, badass. Come and look at the interior. I love this leather stitching here. So everything again is blacked out and you've got this special stitching here on the seat that I haven't seen before. You've got speakers in the headrest and you've actually got guys, 36 different speakers in this car. So complete surround sound, which is crazy. This 
is a 38 inch curved display. It is massive. Now, I do like that. However, I'm wondering why they put this extra panel in here over the top of the main display. I suppose why they did it, because it becomes more focused. You have different functions for each of these screens. However, what in my opinion would have looked even better is if they didn't have this extra screen and they instead just had this one full 38 inch curved display in front of you. I think that would have looked super, super futuristic. If you press map, this whole screen here turns into a map and this is massive so you can see exactly where you're going now what's even cooler is this augmented reality camera starting augmented reality and look at this this is actually showing you exactly what you see in front of you through the front windshield now you might be wondering why on earth would you need to see what you already see through the front windshield so what happens is when you have got the directions on it will actually display on the screen as you approach that street exactly where to turn. That is quite cool. However, I wouldn't recommend driving with this on. It's super distracting. You've also got night vision. This won't work right now because of course we're out in the sun. That will work when you're downstairs. HUD, this stands for heads up display controls. Now I love that there's a quick button for this. You can literally push that and then you can raise the height of the heads up display in front of you here on the windscreen. Now what I love about this is right here. Okay guys, you will not see this in too many cars. Actually, in fact, I've never seen it before. This right here is not only a fridge, it is also a freezer. So you can set it to five degrees or minus five degrees. What I love is the location of the fridge because a lot of fridges are actually between the back seats and as a driver there is no way <laughs> if you're in the car alone you don't have any passengers you're going to be able to get a cold coke out of the fridge look at this it has an sd card you guys that i have also never seen in a car what is nice is you have this wireless phone charger right here what's different about this one is it doesn't just lay flat right this one is a vertical so you can put your phone down like that and it actually holds it in very well in place so that when you go around corners your phone doesn't just go sliding off the wireless charger however there is a downside to this that i worked out the very first time that i drove this car i came in i was like key where am i going to put that let me chuck it in this hole <laughs> never to be seen again it took about 10 minutes to get this key out of this hole because it goes all the way down if you have big hands like there is no way you're actually going to retrieve that key this is a little ear right now the way i can demonstrate this is nick you have to pop into the back actually go all the way back if i'm just talking, i can't hear you that's the point. Oh. If I'm just talking like this, I'm talking at a normal level, you can't really hear me very well. Now, listen to this. I'm going to press this button. This turns on conversation enhancement. So now my voice is being integrated into the speakers so that you can hear me in the back seats. That's called the conversation enhancer. All right. What you may have noticed is how massive these screens are. Massive! They are actually the biggest uh, screens that come factory from any car on the market. These screens talk to each other. I can select a movie on this screen and then go send it to that screen. So if you've got a baby in that seat, then they don't have to actually program anything themselves. You can do it and then they watch it, which is I think is quite cool. Look, you've actually got HDMI ports and then you've got the power here. Plug it in and then you guys can play PlayStation here in the back. What? That's crazy. <laughs> They make good use of the space, I have to say. This is a lot of space, even here in the third row. I'm quite comfortable. Everywhere you look, you've got these little ports, which is great. So every single passenger can have one of those to charge their phone. A couple of things I really like, a couple of things I don't like. First thing here, you can flick this and the mirror turns into a digital display, which is quite cool. When I reverse, you guys, I quite like this. I'm gonna reverse back and get quite close to this car. And in most cars, you would start to hear a beep, right? If you get too close to the car behind you. Instead, on this car, 
I'm starting to feel my whole seat vibrate. So there's no annoying beep. Instead, you feel it here on your bottom. The seat is vibrating. <laughs> and the closer you get to it, the more it vibrates your seat, which is crazy. For a car this big, I wanted to have a little bit more horsepower, especially the sports edition. So this is a 6.2 liter V8 and it has 420 horsepower. I feel like it's underpowered when I drive it. Like that's, that's full speed. And yes, while it's okay, it's nothing super impressive. Let's just put it that way. If you're using this as an FBI vehicle, I'm not sure you're actually going to be able to catch up with whoever you're chasing. You've got a little blue marker there on the screen showing you where you need to go. Do you see those arrows? They actually come up and tell you in real time through augmented reality when and where to turn. So the starting price of this car and the starting version is called the Lux version. It'll cost you about $90,000. Top of the range. Maybe they need a lift. <laughs> they just got married. That's so cute. Oh, do you want to lift at the new Escalade? It's like, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, I love weddings. Oh, I love it. Yeah, so $90,000 is the starting price and that's for the Lux version. That's the entry level Escalade. And then from there, you can choose uh, various levels. This is the premium sports. That will go for around $120,000. What do you guys reckon? I think it's pretty good value, to be honest. I'm quite impressed. I like all of the visibility. I've got massive side mirrors here. I can see a lot. I can see a lot out the back with this digital display. I can see a lot out the side as I turn. I like the car. It's comfortable as well. I think we're out. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe to the Supercar Bloody family. Do it. We've got so many giveaways coming up too, guys. So make sure you don't miss out. Press the notifications on right now so you do not miss out on what is coming up before the end of the year right guys love you i'm out <laughs>